Right, I thought what we'd do is we'd have a little look at um, a drawing that I found on the digital fashion resource. This skirt here was found on the digital fashion resource and I looked at it and I thought it was particularly badly drawn. Um, the buttons are very large, the stitching is clumsy, um, there's no real shaping in the skirt and um, I decided to redraw this one. Okay, so I'm going to go through with you now just how easy it was to draw that. Now I'm going to keep this skirt um, as reference, but I'm going to delete the one that I've just drawn. So I'm going to delete that. And we're going to replicate this skirt, but make it a lot nicer. So we're going to start with the pen tool. Um, for anybody who's done my videos before or been in my um, tutorial sessions, um, this will be familiar. I'm just drawing one side of the skirt, I'm adding a little shape there and I'm following this blue line so I'm going to come down to here, I'm just tapering in slightly so it's not too flared and then I hit return to stop drawing okay and then I'm going to click on that line that I've just drawn and then I'm choosing the reflect tool position my cursor on this center line, hold the alt key and click and then I'm going to reflect across the vertical axis and copy. And now I've got two versions of the line. I'm going to join them both together, so I've selected them both. Right click, join, right click and join. And I'm going to add some shape along the waistband, along the top. You can see they've been a bit sloppy here. There's no real shape. Um, and you can see there that the waistband isn't um, uh, cut into the, the skirt properly. Um, it's a, a bit of a shabby job. So we're going to do this in a much better and more constructive way. Um, you can see that the stitch lines aren't even. We're going to do a much nicer job. I'm just going to refill this. So I'm going to use the default um, fill and stroke. So I didn't need to select it first. There we go. And then I'm going to um, add um, some anchor points. So I'm going to use the add anchor point tool. I'm going to add one at the top here and one at the bottom like this and then I'm going to use my cursor keys just to nudge that down there we go and then I'm going to use the anchor point tool and I'm just going to add a little bit of shape to the bottom of this skirt by adding a curve just like that and then I'm just going to nudge that down a little bit more that's much more pleasant I think and then I'm going to do much the same at the top so I'm just going to nudge this point down, so I'm using the direct selection tool and I only want a tiny bit and then the anchor point tool just to reshape like so, there we are, okay and there's the basic shape of my skirt. Now I'm going to add a waistband. Now the waistband's quite deep, so I'm going to draw it with the pen tool and I'm going to use it, um, a line to divide. So um, if you remember, we always start off the skirt. I'm going straight across and you can see I've bled over the edges of the skirt because this is a dividing line. And as you should know by now, Dividing lines can have no fill attached. Oops, so I'm adding some shape in the middle. So I'm just going to add the shape first in exactly the same way as we added the shape to the waistband at the top and at the bottom. There we go. Okay, so that just about does it. Now I need to take my fill off this line. That's really important. As you know, adding um, or using dividing lines with fills is a mistake. Sorry about the phone ringing in the background. Okay, I'm just going to Pathfinder now. Okay, if you can't find Pathfinder, it's in the Windows menu. And I've just used Divide. Right click and I'm going to Ungroup. And so now my waistband and my skirt are two separate items. Like so. And you can see we don't have this sloppy sloppy line here so it's already drawn better than the original. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this um, placket in the front so I'm going to just use a rectangle and I'm going to draw my placket from top to bottom like so and um, you can see it's not very well centered so I'm just going to shift select 
the main body of the skirt and then I'm going to take my finger off the shift key and click again. Now this gives me this thick highlight which allows me to use the alignment tools and I've just used horizontal align just to bash those into um, the correct alignment. There we go, that looks okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a stitch line onto our placket. So I'm just going to I'm just going to correct these bits. Can you see how it's just gone over the top? I'm just going to nudge that down a little bit. I'm just going to check the bottom as well. I'm just grabbing this line segment and move that down. There we are. And then I can um, oops, um, put my stitch line on. So I've just selected it. I'm going to path and path offset and I'm going to type in minus 1.5 points PT and then choose preview and that looks okay I click okay and now I'm going to make that into a dashed line okay so I'm going to change the line weight right the way down to 0 0.25 and I'm going to make uh, my cats rounded and my corners rounded and I'm going to add a dashed line of just one point and I'm going to align my dashes to corners and, and path ends there we are. That doesn't look too terrible and I've got no fill on that as well. Okay, so it's coming along quite nicely. Now I'm going to add stitches to my waistband. Um, you can see they haven't bothered, um, so we are going to bother. So I know the offset is right, I don't need to set that up because it's already there from the placket. And I'm also going to use the eyedropper tool by pressing I on my keyboard. And there we have it stitches on my waistband and on the placket. Now I'm going to um, just take the sides of the stitches off because we don't need those. Okay, that's better. Now I'm going to add some stitches along the bottom. So I'm going to pick up this path. I'm, I think I may have to lock that, so I'm just going to control two. There we go. I'm going to copy that and paste in front. So control command C and then control F. And then I'm just nudging it up and then I'm going to copy again the stitch lines by using the eyedropper and then I'm going to copy and paste in front again and nudge that up and there we go there's my double stitch line and what we're going to do now is we are going to make some buttons Okay, now these buttons are, are very big and clumsy, so we're going to make something that looks a little bit more in proportion. So to do that, I'm actually going to draw it where it's going to go. So I'm just going to make my button about so big. I don't want to go wider than that stitch line because I, I don't want to impede that stitch line. But once I've started drawing it, it actually helps if I move it over here. And I'm just going to change the line weight because it's quite a small object. I don't want my line to be too heavy. I'm going to just zoom right in because it is a very tiny object and I'm going to use line offset again so object path and offset path and in fact that's perfect I'm going to leave it just at that and then I'm going to use an, the ellipse tool again to draw four little circles so I'm going to draw one I'm going to change that line weight all the way down to 0 0.15 I think PT again and there we have it so you can see it's really tiny and I'm just holding down the alt key and moving and then shift click to pick those up and alt, hold the alt key and there is my four little button holes well then they're, they're not button holes you know what I mean and I've grouped them together and then I can actually I think what I'll do is I'm going to divide these shapes up okay and there's a reason for this I'm going to do I want no not trim I will divide <laughs> yeah I'll choose divide now what divide will do for me is it will cut those items up which means that I can drill straight through um, one of these I just need to switch to the direct selection tool and can I ungroup these I don't think I can no. Oh, there we go. Yeah, ungroup. And I'm going to pick up the interior one and I'm going to drill through. First of all, I'm going to align them. So I'm just going to align them properly. 
might need to, a little fiddle around with this to get the alignment right. Okay. I think I need to align horizontal and align vertical. There we go. And oops. Okay, and now I'm going to um, exclude or yeah, exclude the front objects. And what that will do for me is it will drill holes through. So if I were to draw another object behind, let's just draw an ellipse, I think. Um, I'll just draw a skinny ellipse. And I'm just going to move it over here. And then I'm going to paint it a different colour so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And send it to the back. So I'm just right clicking centre back and you can see there how I've managed to drill holes through the button. There we are. Can you see how that's working? Okay, so that was done using Pathfinder. Okay, and now I'm just going to group Come on, I don't know why I can't group. Never mind, we'll work on that later. I'm just going to do the buttonhole right now. And I'm making that out of a rectangle. So I've drawn, drawn this rectangle. And then I'm going to just take the fill off. And then we um, go to the effects menu. And I'm going to go to distort and transform zigzag. Then I need to make my zigzag quite tiny. If I don't, um, we end up with quite a mess. Oops, that's way too big. Um, there we go. So you can see it's a bit scrappy at the moment. I need to add more ridges per segment and make them smooth. Um, and when we add more, you can see it looks like stitches. I think the size is still too big. So I'm just going to take the size down a bit. OK. I think I'm going to do that again. So distort and transform, there we are, zigzag. And I'm going to just take that a little bit smaller, I think. OK, we'll see what this gives us. I've just put an O in there. Now I need an odd number. Um, it always just looks better when you have an odd number. They fit together better. There we go. And then that can be my buttonhole. I'm just going to send that to the back and see how it looks. That's not too bad. I think it might be a bit big. Let's just zoom out and see how that looks. I'm just going to group it together. Yeah, I think that, that buttonhole is a little on the large side. So I'm just going to select it with the direct selection tool because I've grouped it. and. Um, I'm just going to scale it down a little bit, and I'm scaling it to 85%. That's okay. I think that's better. Okay, so you're looking for a good proportion at the end of the day. And now I'm going to make a symbol out of this. So I'm just going to um, drag this onto my symbols panel. I give it a new name. I'm going to call it New Button. Click OK. And now when I want to use that button, I just drag it off the symbols panel. And I'm going to position the first one. OK, and then I think I'm going to have six buttons. I think the original may have had five, but I don't I'm, I don't think five is really enough. So I'm going to add six in there. So I'm just going to drag five more. That's two, three, four, uh, five and one more. I'm going to put the one, the last one in more or less where I want it to end up. Out there I think and then I'm going to select all the buttons and we're going to distribute them again and um, this time they're going to line up with the placket oops why is that I think I've got my yeah I've got my placket locked so I'm just going to unlock I don't remember doing that unlock the placket and I'm just going to select the buttons again and then click on the placket right cl and click again and then align horizontal align center 
and then I'm going to distribute. I'm just going to deselect the placket and then I'm going to distribute the buttons from the top. Distribute, vertical distribute top. There we have it. Okay. And now um, I'm going to add these little detail lines in. But I'm going to make mine look better than that. So I'm going to switch to the pen tool. And where I want to start is on this sweep down from the hip. And I'm putting a curve in straight away. And you can see um, how that works out. Hit return to stop drawing. Go to the shift key and change the profile. OK, I'm going to do another one on the other side. And same again, change the profile. And I'm just going to, I think I'll put a rounded cap on there and just move that point. There we are, so it's not standing proud. I'll do the same on the other side and just check that that's okay. That's a little bit better, I think. Rounded cap, just shift it over a tiny bit. There we are. Okay, so how does that look? I'm going to delete this button. Oops. There we go. Delete. And it's gone. And there we have it. There's my new skirt. Okay, so let's see what it looks like when I turn the um, template off. That's not too bad. Um, I think it's way better than the original and I think I'm quite pleased with that.